Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Dan Rides Barbados Travel Vlogs. Once again, this evening I'm at Vault Loose at the Four Cross Roads. The road straight ahead takes you back to Mount Hillaby, Quarry Spring, Rock Hall, Farmers, Dunscum, and Hillaby. The road to the right takes you back to Content, Jutes, I mean Content, St. Thomas Parish Church, the Elliott's Machine Shop and Garage, this is that, Content, St. Thomas, and it's also a car shore there as well, there's a car shore there at Elliott's Machine Shop and Garage, it's owned by a guy named Mr. Jeff Juliet, Jeffrey Elliott. It also takes you back to Dr. Duck House with a vet. Also to Content Road. It leads you back to St. Thomas Parish Church. And the rest of the island via Whole Town. Which is in St. James. St. James is the rest of the island. This road will take you back to St. James, St. Peter and St. Lucy. Which is northwest. And the road to the right takes you back to Jutes. You will come across the overhead bridge. And the arch at Jutes Plantation. It takes you back to... Lion Castle, Stony Gully, Harrison's Cave, and Welsh Mahogany. All through this road here, it's about Harrison's Cave and Welsh Mahogany, Jukes, Lion Castle, Stony Gully, Holy Innocence Church, and School, and St. Thomas Post Office. All through this right down here. This road here takes you by the shop hill, back to the race track where rallies held, car racing. All up here is car racing, by the way. It takes you back to the new sanitation civil authority building, the dump at Vault Loose, which is no mangrove landfill. It takes you back to shop hill, Jackson, and Warrens, and Bridgestone. So again, Pori Spring, which is just around the corner from here, straight ahead, is a Rastafarian settlement. Yeah, where Rastas got their Rastas settled and they have their bath and their daily devotions and so on. And I will not venture to there right now. Not at the present moment, so I will not be giving you a, a footage of Pori Spring. Because I don't want to get any problem with anyone. I don't get anyone's privacy, so I will do it up here. And again, this is the road that leads by the shop hill, the rear strap, vault loose, body dump, which is mangrove landfill. It leads back to the new sanitation service authority building. It leads by the Jackson, shop hill, back to ground few heights, and shop hill. It leads back to British tongue as well and Jackson. Okay.
Don't say Thomas is in the center of the island and it is a beautiful Highland Parish with hill formations similar to that doors of Portland and St. Anne Parish in Jamaica. <laughs> So this is the secondary road to Harrison's Cave. This road is secondary to Harrison's Cave. You mostly use this road to Harrison's Cave if you're coming from the north or west of the island. And you will use it, but it is secondary. You won't use it on a normal circumstance. But you will use this road as you are heading towards Mount Hillaby, which is the highest point in Barbados. The only bus that travels this road is the St. Andrew's Church or Hillaby or White Hill Bus. This can be a shortcut or cross country road if you're going to the north or west of the island instead of going around the west coast road, which is highway one, the lower road, for your whole town and spike sound, or through um, highway to where but by St. Thomas Church and Warrens. You can come to the back road and use this road. That is why it's so busy because people use it as a shortcut to get to and from, from north to south, from south to west, from west to east, and so on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also leads back straight ahead, also leads back to Rock Hall Freedom Village, which was the first freedom village in Barbados. Rock Hall is in St. Thomas. That also leads you back to St. Thomas Parish Church as well. That was the first freedom village. I forgot to mention that Rock Hall. Also, the next left turn after this. Instead of going into Pori Spring, the next left turn will be Rock Hall, Freedom Village. You will find a Freedom Monument and so on up there, the Freedom Monument. Rock Hall Freedom Village, the first freedom village in Barbados. Yes, there is. Yeah, good evening. Rock Hall. This is Content Rock Loose Road. Many people refer to it as Content or Jukes, but Content is the road to the left and Jukes is the road to the right.
mentioned this area was once a bad area as well where they used to kill people and dump them and find bodies and so on along this road as it is very lonely So rally is held every year out here. This whole area is rally. We have carrier scene. Some a lot of Jamaican rally drivers like Fuji Panton and those guys also come down to Barbados to participate. I think Fuji Panton live here or no or something like that. But a lot of rally drivers from Jamaica come to Barbados for, for rally and. Rally held three areas. The St. Thomas section is vault loose. Oh, the rear shock is further back behind me. The rear shock is behind me. The front row behind me. But Rally's held out here. Spectators often watch out this side, out this area. And the other one is Bushy Park, in St. Philip, which is to the east, Bushy Park. And the other one is uh, Malvern in St. John. Well, I, use, I usually watch Rally from this side, up this side, because it's closer to me, closer to home. At least my family is from, so I would watch it out this side. To the new sanitation service authority building. The sanitation service authority building was built under the leadership of the past government, but I don't think it's occupied. If I'm wrong, someone can correct me, but last time I looked, it was not occupied. I'm not sure if it changed, if things changed now. There's a possibility that things could have changed, but the last time it wasn't occupied. So, again, thanks for watching and have a blessed evening.